Well, good afternoon. It's Sunday. It's dringy. And I'm not my lorry. In fact, I'm at home. But I am doing things for the week ahead. In here, in a slow cooker, I have lamb, minted gravy with uh, new potatoes, peas and carrots. And that's going to provide meals for at least two days. So that's been cooking for a good couple of hours and I'm going to continue cooking it for another probably four, four or five hours. I have here a dish which I'm going to make a quiche. <coughs> um, I'm going to make a red pepper and three cheese. Oh, and butternut squash. Red pepper, butternut squash and three cheese on um, quiche. So I'm going to make in there in the oven and then I'm going to take half of it for work and half of it for home. I have my trusty coffee and uh, it is in fact my how to make a pasty. <laughs> mm. Right, so here we have it. It's just in a normal household Thing. And that is my tea for two or three days. Yay! Looking forward to that. Uh, that's my spice rack. Got all the spices known to man in there pretty much. Uh, I do like a bit of cooking, you know. Um, I do all sorts. So uh, next thing is for me to make my quiche. One shot. That shallot. Oh dear. I'm here every weekend. Like I say, I'm not the best. Just a home trucker at home making some stuff for the week. Onion musher. And for that, I'm just going to add just a little bit of oil just to get it started. And on. These are chestnut mushrooms. I bought them mainly for an omelette. Um, because I fancy a goat's cheese, goat's cheese and uh, spinach, goat's cheese and spinach. Yeah, sounds good. Right, turn it down a little. And basically we just want to soften and cook the um, mushroom. Just a bit. In the meantime, I think I've only got uh, 
medium X. So I'm going to do at least four. Wash my hands. Yep, it's fine. Have some salt. Pepper. And some basil. And then let it cool down. All my peppers can go in. And we've not done the um, other stuff yet, have we? Butternut squash. I haven't actually got any butternut squash. But what I do have, if I can find it, Here's some butternut squash lattices. <laughs> Look at that. So I'm going to use some of this. The rest can go in the bin. I'm just using up, just using up stuff that I've got left, basically. My mushrooms and my shallots. Shallot, shall I say? I think I might use another egg because uh, I bought mediums instead of large. So I think I will use another one. Now for the pastry, the one I made earlier. <laughs> short crust puff paste, uh, short crust pastry. That would be lovely. I would use most of this.
and even do the top. Make sure you get right in the edges too. Right, I'm going to wash my hands. See I've got a hole in there so I'm just going to quickly patch that up. There we go. And if need to you can always take a piece off the edge. And put it in. be nice and rustic when it comes out. have a shower in a minute I've got my washing on the line or my bed in for the lorry in the wash it goes and then This is what we're left with. And that's going to be my dinner. And then in the oven it goes. And we will see you in 40 minutes. Pete Dong. Anyway. Now, you know exactly what's in this. I mean, I am a fan of ready meals for the truck. The one thing I'm not so pleased with, however, is most ready meals come with, packed with a ton, and I mean a ton of sugars or salt. And they use that to make the date longer. You can take it away with you and you've got the best part of a week's date on it. But it's packed full of sugars and salt. Now this here, I know exactly what's in that because I'm the one who put it in there. And I know that that and that is going to be fine. Um, so if I cut that in half, that's going to be three lunches. Uh, I'm also going to make some sandwiches as well. Oh, that reminds me. They get the gammon ham. Oh, and I'm gonna carve that up for some sandwiches. So, you know, I've got sandwiches, I've got um, tough to take for omelette. I've got goat's cheese, spinach and uh, chestnut mushroom om omelettes which I'll probably be making in the truck um, in the Ridge Monkey uh, and uh, yeah, all very good.
Don't beat me up. And uh, here's my cat. Not allowed in the kitchen. So off you pop. Anyway, I will catch you later. And in the meantime, we have lots of uh, washing up to do. Nothing like making a good mess, is it, eh? Beep, 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 beep. That means we can have a look and see how we're doing. Whew. Mmm. That looks absolutely <laughs> Ooh, delicious. Yeah, that is done. Let's show, just give you a closer look. Then there it is. That is one red pepper and butternut squash quiche. Just going to let it cool down now and then uh, that would be good to cut up and I'll take half of it to work, leave half at home for the wife and the children. There we have it. Easily done. Right, so what we're going to do now is I'm just going to run the butter knife. The reason why I use the butter knife is because it has no sharp edges, so uh, and then I'm going to attempt, <laughs> he says. To take it out. Perfect. So now I'm just going to lay it on my rack, just to complete the cool, cool down. And now, she's ready. God, that smells good. So to recap, that's just a red pepper, butternut squash, chestnut mushroom, um, with goat's cheese, and cheddar quiche with basil. Perfect.